Hi, I'm Polly Dean Harrison with the FinTech Times and I'm here at Intertech Insights. Would you like to introduce yourself, please? Thank you, Polly. I'm Shlomo Amir, Chief Business Officer at EasySend. EasySend is a young insurtech company out of Israel that is engaging in transformation, in business transformation from paper and PDF-based customer interaction to complete digital journey engagement. We provide it over a platform of no-code, low-code and enable our customer to transform their business quickly. Amazing, and how are you finding the event so far? Exciting, exciting. Actually, it's my first event for the last two years. <laughs> uh, it's both strange and exciting to see so many people together. I'm really looking forward for the next events as well. Hopefully, we are here to stay. Yeah, absolutely. And so, sort of in light of that, how do you think the pandemic has affected the insurance industry? Wow, uh, it was a roller coaster, I must say. At the beginning, we saw all the insurance uh, carriers and MGS just put the brakes on. I mean, nobody knew what's going on, and um, it affected them negatively, both from business point of view, but also from customer interaction. As mm -hmm. everybody was locked down, both offices were closed and people were locked to their homes. But soon after, I think about three, four months into the pandemic things have changed dramatically. Mm. People realize they need to live with it. It's not just temporarily and going away. Many, many of the digitization projects that were somewhere in the drawer jumped into the front mm. and this gave this whole industry a big boost forward. And things that normally would have taken a decade to be implemented are really took a year, a bit more and still going on. So exciting times. Yeah, absolutely. And so how has innovation and technology affected the industry as well? It was out of necessity immediately, meaning you cannot ask a customer to come to your office, you cannot go to the customer, so how do you bridge this gap? Technology is the only way. And many, many uh, new technological digitization projects really were initiated. For example, all the insurance industry that was based, and still mostly based, honestly, on paper and PDF, have to reinvent itself and started to introduce digital journeys as an example. So this, I think, was the biggest contributor of COVID-19 to our industry. Absolutely, and then following on from that, how are the emerging technologies such as blockchain and AI, how are they impacting the insurance industry? Blockchain is early on and I think it will have an impact going forward, but it's going to be very, very gradual. AI is much more into it today, mm -hmm. uh, growingly. And the fact is that as you dis I mean, disconnect the direct connection, the physical connection between supplier and consumer, you have to bridge it with technology. But technology could be cold, mm -hmm. could be customized, personalized, it could be uh, even a bit human. Mm -hmm. And this is where artificial intelligence certainly will contribute to this industry. Fantastic. And then how is consumer demand and the needs for personalization coming into play? You know, we all now used to Airbnb and uh, Uber and uh, this is a type of personalization interaction. You know, when you, when you try to search something on Google immediately, they know what you searched before, what you were emailed before. Yes. So everything pops up very, very quickly. So people get used to it. They are complaining about it, ooh, privacy, but they got used to it. And actually they expect the same from the insurance industry, meaning if I'm your customer, you should know everything you need to know about me and not ask me again which address I'm in or how many children I have or when is my insurance going to be expired. They expect it to be like the Google. Yeah. And we are not there yet. We are on our way, there is a long way, but this is what uh, the consumer expects now from insurance. Fantastic. And then finally, what are your predictions for the future of the industry? Uh, I'm predicting much more of the same plus the AI big contribution, mm -hmm. meaning everything will be digital. And actually, even in this conference, the terminology insurance 3.0 is in the air, and which is very, very interesting because insurance was not there. In, pr in principle, what insurance 3.0 mm -hmm. is get engaged with your potential customer before they are called by your potential customer. It's like the freemium model, the Spotify model, yeah. for example. So insurers now looking to engage with the yet to be uh, customers ahead of time and providing them value, not just, hey, how about me selling your insurance, but let me give you some advice on your next travel or your health care. And before you are my customer, 
this will lead into the next step which will become a customer. This is one very interesting momentum. Another one, as we spoke before, is even much more personalized approach. And actually, uh, they expect, uh, consumer expect you as a supplier to know their wishes, their requirements, their needs ahead of their approach to you. And this will be supported with data and with AI. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Polly. It was a pleasure.